There's not a lot of information regarding graphic design when it comes to lo-fi, but if you've ever heard that kind of music, you probably link it to a specific kind of graphic style. Purple and pink colors, a retro vibe, sunset skies, cozy rooms, and light through the blinds are some of the elements that we usually see on a cover of a lo-fi album or playlist. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create our own album art. Before we dive into the design process, it's crucial for us to do thorough research for the project. This research includes exploring different graphic styles, colors, illustration, layouts, and any other significant factors. This research forms the foundation of our design approach and ensures that we make informed decisions throughout the project. With these details, we can start doing our sketches and pick what style we want to recreate. From all the research we did previously, we have a broad idea of what we want to do. We're going to create a new file and we're going to do some rough sketches of our album cover. We are going to start creating the color palette for the cover. We might add or change some colors once we start doing the thumbnails, but like this we're going to have a good base to see how the mood of our cover looks. For starters, we'll be using pink, blue, purple and orange as our main colors, and we'll see how they interact with each other when we create the thumbnails. We are going to create a new palette at the edit color sets, create new set, and we're going to be adding all our colors there. For our illustration, we're going to try a couple of different things. We're going to be doing a room, the skyline of a city with a silhouette, and the building with neon lights. We'll be doing very rough sketches just to see how they look, and we'll decide which one we want to pick and perfect once we're done putting the colors on our illustration. We'll strive to position our typography in a place where it doesn't distract from the artwork and at the same time has good readability. Because we don't want to lose the importance of the illustration, but at the same time we want the typography to be easily understandable. We'll try a couple different placements until we find one that fits our criteria. I don't recommend placing in a lot of details, may it be lines or colors, so it doesn't get lost on the artwork and make more visual noise than needed. We are almost done with the sketches. We are going to start by making the thumbnails that later we will use for the final design, and we'll continue perfecting it, creating the final layout. Now let's create a new layer beneath the sketch lines. This allows us to experiment with the different color combinations in an organized manner. Let's start by exploring four distinct color groups, warm tones, cold tones, a mix of both sets of colors, and vibrant neon hues. Sorting these color groups provides a solid foundation for our illustration, creating a structured approach to our creative process. We are going to at least try four different variations, but you can do as much as you like. We are going to use the colors we created previously in our customized palette and we'll create new ones if we see the need. If a particular color is of your liking, integrate it to your palette for the final illustration. You don't need to be too careful about the strokes. Roughly paint your sketches aiming to achieve a visual balance among the chosen colors. This will set the foundation for a well-balanced composition. Feel free to stick with a consistent color scheme across all variations, using dark and light colors in the same places. Alternatively, if you're feeling more adventurous, go ahead and explore different visual vibes for a unique and distinct outcome. It's essential to note that black won't be part of our illustration. When working with thumbnails, be mindful of how the darkest color interacts with the others. In case we like more than one design, we can design two or three of them and choose the one we like the most when we're done with the final layout. 
Now that we have some colors, we can also try different layouts for the cover. This is when we can try a few combinations as we have all the elements available even if they're in a sketch form. But this way we can have a good idea of how the final cover is going to look so we can keep going with this one. In the next part of this tutorial, we'll combine the different parts of our previous sketches to have a clear idea of how the final cover is going to look. We'll also show you how to finish our cover and export it so we can use it on our lo-fi album. Clip Studio Paint